I'm up to the culture in the Ming and Xing dynasties. There's only a little bit left in this exhibit. I started a new video. I probably should have just left it. In the context of a growing commodity economy and new modes of production, the late Ming and early Qing saw the emergence of a new number of early Enlightenment philosophers, pragmatic scientists, and highly individualistic writers and artists. At the same time, European missionaries came to China bringing advanced Western knowledge that contributed to the development of modern Chinese science and technology. Beginning in the mid to late Ming Dynasty, Wang Shu Ren, Li Ji, and other scholars challenged the limitations of the Song Dynasty, Li Shui, learning or Neo Confucianism, and advocated a new philosophical school that featured early democratic and humanistic thinking. Three well known philosophers of the late Ming and early Qing, Huang Zhangxi, Gu Yan Wu, and Huang Fuji, promoted naive materialism and any autocracy democratic political thought that significantly influenced later generations. A letter home by Wang Shu Ren. Shangdi era. Ming Yi Dai Feng Lu, waiting for dawn. Huang Zhang Shi. Ri Qi Lu, notes on everyday learning. Kang Shi era. Manuscript of Song Lun Comments on Song Dynasty Wood carved shepherd boy riding an ox Qing Dynasty Yellow glass vase of Hui Dragon Poem Red lacquer box, carved with 100 children design. Four gold trace characters, regular script inside the lid. 100 children treasure box, rain marked inside the bottom dates. The box to the chain long era. Jade double brush washer with six dragonfly rings. Copper bodied painted enamel flower pot with bat and lotus design. Hmm. The most influential Ming Dynasty painters were the four masters of the Wumen school Chen Zhou, Tang Yin, Wen Zheng Ming, and Xu Ying. The Qing Dynasty brought a flowering of diverse painting schools and styles. The most representative early Qing painters were the Orthodox masters Wang Shimin, Wang Jian, Wang Hui, Wang Yuan Qi, the Four Wangs, the non traditional individualists Hong Ren, Kung Ken, Shi Tao, Zhu Da, Four Monks. By the mid-Qing, court painters like Jiao Bingzhen, Leng Mei, and Jin Ting Biao emerged, as well as the orthodox Yang Zhou school. In decorative arts, copper-bodied enamelware, jade works, lacquerware embodied excellence and craftsmanship. Hmm. <laughs> Economy and Culture in the Late Qing Dynasty. After the Opium War in 1840, China witnessed unprecedented economic and cultural change. Motivated to strengthen China in the mid 19th century, a group of pro Western Chinese officials and early nationalist industrialists began importing foreign machinery, employing foreign 
technicians and establishing new industries like shipbuilding, railway, mechanized mining, and textile production, telegraph, telephone, banking, postal service, hydraulic electricity. At the same time, new schools, museums, public libraries, and publishing houses emerged, and literature novels that satirize, that satirize collusion between officials and foreigners were popular, as well as foreign classics translated by Lin Shu and Yan Fu in books on modern science and technology. Large Dragon Postal Stamps. This set of stamps designed and issued in 1878 by Qing Customs is the earliest set of postal stamps in China. It consists of three stamps with values of one Kandarin, three Kandarin, five Kandarin respectively. Dragon motif represents Imperial China. And it's issued by foreign banks in China. Small dragon postal stamps. Telephone, late Qing. Ship-shaped gilded brass clock. Palace Museum. Chinese passport issued by Chinese ambassador to Germany. Notes found, notes issued to Ta Qing Government Bank. From the Qing Empire to the founding of the Republic, the 1840s saw the beginning of the Qing Empire's decline with successive wars launched by imperialist powers, the Opium War, Second Opium War, Sino-French War, Sino-Japanese War, an invasion of the eight nation allied forces in 1900. As a result, China was compelled to sign a series of unequal treaties. In an effort to save the nation, Chinese people stood up and initiated the anti-imperialism and anti-feudal campaign. The revolution in 1911 and the establishment of the provincial government of the Republic of China at Nanjing in early 1912 signaled the end of the Qing dynasty. As the Chinese monarchy collapsed, a new chapter opened in, opened in the history of China. Car-shaped thermometer. Locomotive-shaped brass barometer. Stock certificate. Associative member certificates. Of the Institute of Civil Engineers awarded to Zhou Tin Yu. Opium pipe, Li Qing. In the middle of the 18th century, the British began exporting opium into China, poisoning the minds of the Chinese people. This pipe was used to smoke opium. They wanted to undo the trade imbalance. Looks like Hong Kong. Yeah. Trading port of Hong Kong. Anonymous Li Qing painter. Macau. Silver Pushu door knocker. This Pushu was from the door of a study at the old summer palace in Beijing. This royal garden was plundered and burned down during the invasion by British and French Allied Forces, 1860. Manuscript of a sketch on lifting the ban on Catholicism. Woodblock printing corrections to medical classics. He gong chi ju tu shu. Illustrations of implements used for river management. This two-volume book tr introduces implements used for river management projects. Giyuan Mi Liu. Quick method for determining close ratios in circular division. Block printed edition, Qing Dynasty, 19th year of Dao Kuang era.
Celestial Globe, Qi Yan Huai, Qing Dynasty, 10th year Dao Guang, 1830, Qi Yan Huai. Scientists who specialize in astronomy, irrigation, and water conservancy. Celestial Globe is an astronomical clock that was powered by a coiled spring and could give time automatically. Gilded protractor, sundial, astronomical instrument. Ding Ji Chun Chiao, Age of Confrontation. Strange Tales of Liao Ji. <coughs> this album is based on Liao Ji. Liao Jai Ji Yi, collection of short stories written by Mongolian writer Pu Song Ling. Ghost stories reflect the social malaise of the time. Hong Lu Meng, A Dream of Red Mansions. It's very famous, hand copied, 120 chapter edition, Ching, Chain Longer. Supposedly, Prince Gong's mansion here is the mansion from that book. It's about a family in decline, aristocrat in decline. Ru Lin Wu Shi, unofficial history of the scholars. Wu Jing Shi, Qing Dynasty. Tong Shi era. Grand View Garden, hand scroll. This painting illustrates a scene from A Dream of Red Mansions. Oh. Huh. Novels in Chinese opera. The Ming and Qing dynasties were a prolific age for literature, as represented by four classic novels. Journey to the West, Romance of Three Kingdoms. Outlaws of the Marsh and A Dream of Red Mansions. Other works also achieved greatness in the history of Chinese literature, such as Plum and Golden Vase, Strange Tales of Lao Ji, and Unofficial History of the Scholars, as well as some late Qing novels critical of society. Chinese opera also made great strides in this period with Kung Chu opera capturing most attention. Hmm. Characters from Outlaws of the Marsh. Shui Hu Xuan, written by Ming Dynasty. Novelist Shi Nua An. Historical novel about uprisings launched by peasants dissatisfied with corrupt government. Outlaws of the Marsh, huh? Journey on Journey to the West, Ming Dynasty. Saw that earlier. The actual text they had. San Gui Ji, Tang Su Yan Yi, Romance of Three Kingdoms. Lu Guang Zhang, Guang Zhang. Qin Ping Mei, Plum in the Golden Vase. Lan Ling, Xiao, Xiao Sheng. Oh. Science and technology with social and economic development and introduction of Western science and technology during the Ming and Qing dynasties. A number of important scientists emerged in China and wrote advanced scientific works that were at world leading levels at the time. Tiangong Kai Wu, Explanation of the Works of Nature, Song Ying, Ch Ying Xing, Ming Dynasty, Block Printed Edition, Ming Dynasty, 10th Year, Chongzhen Reign, Chongsheng Chuan Shu, Complex Treaties on Agriculture, 
Xu Guangxi, Block Printed Edition, Ming Dynasty, Chongzhen Era, Bangtao Gang Mu, Compendium of Materia Medica, Li Shijian, Ming Dynasty, Block Printed, Wan Li Era, Xu Xia, K U G, Travels of Xu Shiaki. Movable type print edition Ming Dynasty Jia Qing era. What time is it? One thirty. Imperial edict proclaiming the Qing Emperor's abdication. February 12, 1912, Xuantong Emperor, last emperor of Qing Dynasty, announced his abdication, bringing end to more than 2,000 years of continuous imperial monarchy in China. Newspaper extra about Qing Emperor's abdication. Sun Yat-sen's presidential oath replica. January 1, 1912, Sun Yat-sen took the oath and became president of provisional government, Republic of China, Nanjing. Overseas telegram after Sun Yat-sen's inauguration. Commemorative cup. Jiang Kiao, the Jai, the Jiang Tide. Huang hmm. Di Hun, Spirit of Yellow Emperor, a descendant of the Yellow Emperor, 1903. There's a famous imperial poster of China being carved up. Russian bear, American eagle, Japanese rising sun, British bulldog, and the French, the frogs. Chui Shu, Book of Compelled Words, Chang Bing Lin. Collected memorials to Emperor concerning 1898 reform movement. Zhang Dong Xian, Ji Ben Mo, accounts of Sino Japanese War. This book is a record of the Sino-Japanese War, 1894 to 1895, through imperial edicts, correspondence, treaties, notices, and reports taken or translated from Chinese and foreign newspapers or magazines. Hmm, not sure what battle that is. That's everything in the ancient China exhibit. I'm gonna get a drink of water and then go upstairs, see the rest of the museum.